Hey, Lud. I noticed you're playing the most Chad GeoGuessr game mode, which is NMPZ. No move, no pan, no zoom. And you're doing okay. Not bad. But I got some super quick pointers. Little little tips and tricks. Maybe cheats in some people's eyes. To help you get a better score. I think you're already aware of this, but there's a concept in GeoGuessr called Meta, which allows you to identify countries not using any clues or context around you, but simply through stuff like the Google car, the generation of the camera, that sort of thing. Some people like it, some people don't. I love it personally. And I'm gonna show you some quick ones that help boost your scores on a diverse world massively. So a lot of these basic metas actually come up in Africa, which kind of reduces a gigantic continent down into far easier to guess locations. So first and foremost, you've got Senegal, and you'll know it's Senegal because you've got bars on your Google car, and you've also got these gigantic rifts in the sky, a little bug with the camera. Um, not always here, but here most of the time. Obviously, using your other clues, Senegal every time. So next up is Ghana. This is an absolute classic. You've got another Google car with bars on, except this time it's got black tape. If you notice the black tape, you're in Ghana every single time. Just keep an eye out where you're guessing because there isn't that much coverage. Uh, so you're always guaranteed to get a decent score if you use some of the other factors. Next one up is Nigeria. Now, not as obvious as some of the others, but you will oftentimes have a police escort following you around. And we'll just prove this by going to the next round. And here we are again. So look out for this bad boy. You're in Nigeria, okay? So we're moving on to Uganda. This time you've got a sort of white truck. No bars on it, just a white looking truck. Um, yeah, that's about it. Next up is Kenya, and you've got two different types of cars to consider here. You've got the black one, which looks like this. Bars. And then another car with bars. The silver one and the classic big snorkel on it. Uh, which looks like that. So one of the takeaways there is if you haven't picked up on any of those metas, it will likely be in Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, or South Africa. It's not perfect. It doesn't always mean it's there, but it's a high likelihood it is combined with those other factors. So while it's usually pretty easy to get from the normal clues, another thing to keep in mind with Japan is the camera on the Google car is very low to the ground. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. It can sometimes crop up in Taiwan, not very often. And there's one other country that's cropped up in all the time, which is Switzerland. This is another country with uh, exclusively, I believe, low cam uh, coverage, uh, which makes, you know, differentiating this between, say, something like Austria or Northern Italy a little bit easier, judging by the height of the camera. Don't get me wrong, there is a lot more meta in this game to learn. These are just the introductory basic ones that are going to help bring your score up. You can pinpoint certain regions based on the generation of the Google camera. There's certain countries that have a longer antenna than others, but you can't see the rest of the car. There's so much to learn, there's so much to keep in mind alongside all of the other clues. It takes a lifetime to learn all of it, but I hope this has helped a little bit. I reckon you can drop a 20K on NMPZ, a diverse world in no time. Easy, you got this. If you wanna know anything else about GeoGuessr, just hit me up, always happy to help, and uh, we better see you at Air 6 whenever that happens.